We're going to get started, as always, with news you can use for March 22nd, 2022. Article just came out on Market Watch about an hour and a half ago, and I'm going to have to read some of this because it's so new I haven't been able to absorb it all, but I think it's very telling. The title of the article is, The Housing Market is in the Early Stages of a Substantial Downshift. Home Sales May Drop 25% by the End of the Summer, According to This Analyst. The subtitle is, The Expected Drop in Home Sales Could Bring Relief to Renters Over Time. They're referring to the fact that rental properties have gone up and up and up in terms of the monthly rent rates, and that maybe we're going to see that trend go the other direction. Let me tell you a little bit about what this is uh, talking about. And this, by the way, is by uh, the, the head analyst with Pantheon Microeconomics. They're one of the large research firms that work for and on behalf of some of the large real estate uh, realtor companies and stuff like that across the country. Um, their job is to divinate the tea leaves to get into um, you know, deep stuff economically and figure out what's going on and then make predictions that upon which those companies can base their future plans. Um, so here's what he says. Anyway, this is uh, Ian Shepherdson. Um, he predicts that home sales will drop roughly 25% from the annual pace of 6.02 million that was set in February. Early in February, we had our high water mark in terms of sales over the last couple of years prices. Since then, they've dropped. So we're a little over a month, maybe five weeks since the peak and, and prices are coming down and also sales are coming down. They think we're going to go from 6.02 million to 4.5 million annual sales by the end of the summer. Uh, the quote here is, the housing market is in the early stages of a substantial downshift in activity, which will trigger a steep decline in the rate of the increase of home prices. In other words, prices will start dropping, uh, starting perhaps as soon as this spring. So in other words, it may not even happen this summer. We could see this in the next month or so. I'm actually seeing it right now. Um, as evidenced by this expected slowdown in home prices, Shepherdson pointed to mortgage demand. So recently, uh, the number of people applying for loans for homes, and keep in mind the majority of homes that are purchased are bought with a mortgage rather than cash now. Uh, it was a little bit different a year or so ago. There was a lot of cash in the market, but today most buyers are using a mortgage. The number of mortgages have dropped substantially. Um, depending on the numbers, between 8 and 50% and who you believe. But it's it's definitely over 50% volume-wise less than it was one year ago. So that's a substantial drop in a year's period of time. Um, and, and as a telling indicator, as a canary in the mine shaft, a drop in mortgage applications will signal a downturn in home sales 30, 60, 90 days out. Um, and one of the biggest reasons is, of course, the inflationary pressures that we're seeing. When people have to pay more for gas and food, um, heating and cooling bills and things like that, they don't have enough or they can't afford, in a lot of cases, to go to the next step up in terms of payments for lodging. And so that will affect the number of people who are applying for mortgage, which will in turn affect the number of buyers out in the market. Uh, one of the big problems also, though, is the fact that mortgage rates have increased dramatically. They, we talked about this a couple of weeks ago. They passed the 4% mark. Uh, the average 30 is like 4.8%. I mean, that's a huge jump. The average loan is between four and $600 more than it was just two months ago. And a lot of folks just can't afford that. It's just too much. It's a, a bridge too far. Uh, it's, a, it's a huge increase for most households. And the common thought is that, well, they'll go ahead and just save up a little bit more money, have a larger down payment and a smaller loan. Um, but the problem is, even if you save $10,000 more and put it down in the house, you're still paying $400 more a month. And over 30 years, that's like $150,000. So people just can't afford it. So affordability is, is actually the number one thing on the minds of today's buyer in a recent survey that was done by U.S. News and World Report. They concluded that uh, over half of the buyers say the number one thing that's concerning them is affordability. Um, although they are also optimistic that they can afford a house somehow, they're expecting house prices to go down. 
So on existing homes, they expect the number of sales to drop um, with because of the interest rate, but also with new homes because of the inflationary pressures of gas, oil, food, things like that going up, those will drop as well. When those drop, new home purchases or new home being built, that will actually drag the economy. And that it will be like a, a double hit uh, to the housing market itself. What this in turn will do, and the ultimate, is that rental rates, at some point, the increases will level off and potentially in some areas of the country actually drop. Um, I, I, would, I don't see that until probably this fall where that filters in because what happens is you would think that as there's less buyers, more product adds up onto the market, creating more downward pressure on pricing and more options for buyers. But what really happens is a lot of sellers will either not list their properties or pull their market, pull their properties off a of market because no one wants to be the last one selling their house into a, a downward trend. So all of this comes out to rental rates will probably level off sometimes this year, sometime this year, and in certain areas of the country will actually drop too. We were, we've been predicting that they will continue to gradually incline but I think uh, a more realistic thing based on the economy, the war in uh, Ukraine, and the fact that our Federal Reserve is insistent on raising interest rates is that we will see rental uh, rates flatten out later this year. So that is it for news you can use. I know that was a lot to digest, but it just came out like an hour and a half ago. And I think it's, uh, it's very telling and very indicative of what we expect to see in the market 